So about all this stuff with like deathcore bands and metal bands playing with their kick drums on backing track, it is some real loser shit. But uh, I think back to a record I played on in the early 2000s for this active rock new metal band that was sort of in their flop era and doing whatever they could to be cool and pioneering. And uh, one of the songs had this ridiculous, super fast double pedal stuff on it. It was written by the guitar player in Pro Tools with programming. So he had no real idea or concept of the physical limitations of the instrument. And I'm more of an old school rock drummer. I can play pretty fast, but I like to hit really hard and make the drums as loud as they can possibly be acoustically in the room. So I can't really do that and I don't want to. I made it happen in post, but um, it kind of, you know, foreshadowed the future that we're in with guitar players writing everything in the box with all these insanely fast parts and drummers having to replicate it. And there's really no way to make it sound good unless you edit and quantize it in the box. And pulling it off live is really tough and insane. So props to those drummers. I don't really like listening to heavily edited and quantized music because I'm not listening to a human being. But, you know, different strokes. Some people have really pulled it off in this world and done this kind of thing, made it sound more natural, like Naveen Copperweiss and all that. But, you know, until it gets back to, if it ever gets back to people writing together and embracing their limitations, and that's what the band becomes, this is what it is. And uh, Roll Tide, happy Memorial Day.